I have in my hand here a two gang RJ45 faceplate. Basically, you can see the unit here, it comes in this little pack here, and the, it comes with two screws in it, which I'll just show you in a few moments the purpose of those. But basically, the idea of this is that you can have um, two RJ45 outputs here, and you'd mount this particular faceplate, which you can see is quite thin, directly onto um, a backplate that would be uh, pre mounted on the wall, something like this. And um, I'll do a demonstration on those in a few moments' time. So, the first thing here is um, we just look at the front here, and you can see there's spring loaded little hinges here and this is where you just slide it up and push in your RJ45 connection okay so what I want to do here is I just want to disassemble this so you can see it clear so what I can do is I can just press in the corners and just repeat that process here and here and we can see it comes apart in two sections and then we're directly into the, the part here and if we actually rotate this and turn around we can see here that we have slots here where we could actually mount uh, an RJ45 block. So if you actually see this block here, uh, we can see where we come along and we can just slide that into position here. I'm just going to demonstrate this here. We'll just slide it in and there's a little locking mechanism here. We can just press down on it and it will go like that and it's locked in. And if I want to take that back out, what I'll actually be doing is I'll be pushing down on this here and it'll release it and it'll slide back out. But it's very snugly fit there and you can do the same on the far side. If we come along, we look at the front here and we slide it up here we can see we have our RJ45 connection here. And what would we mount this down to? Well, this is where the back plate that I mentioned earlier on comes in. So what we do here is we'll actually slide it along, mount it in here, and we can see here that we have two holes here. We'd mount them on, we'd use the screws that I demonstrated earlier, just to screw that into position. And once we're finished there, we'll actually come along and we'll just clip the face plate back onto the front of it here. So, I mean, it's very, very flexible, and in this type of modular format is exactly what people want to buy it. So you can buy um, the backplate, you can buy the RJ45 keystone, and you can also, in this case, buy a dual um, faceplate for the front, uh, all um, uh, separately. But you can see how modular they are, how they click together, all the rest of it. So that's it, anyway, and no review of the uh, two-gang RJ45 faceplate.